Brian Hogan was living in Nottingham and was on the way home for a nightcap with his friends after a night out when he realised he was being followed by a stranger who wanted to go to Brian's house. I said to him, you're not coming to my house, I don't know who you are, so you'll have to go home. So with that he drew his fist back and punched me hard to the face. I fell back and I cracked my head on the curb of the path I was walking on and I was unconscious momentarily by which time the people in my group called an ambulance. But by the time the ambulance arrived, I had come round and I insisted to the medical staff, I was fine, I'm fine, I want to go home. And stupidly, I signed a waiver to say I was fine. I got off the ambulance and that was my big mistake. Brian went home without going to hospital, but he didn't wake up the next morning. He ended up in a coma and fighting for his life. My mum and dad flew over and they were met by the police and they were brought to the hospital and that's when they saw Brian. Just, he didn't have a mark in him. Uh, just a bit of a cut over his eye. And uh, so the following day, the rest of us got there and we went to see him. And the first week, it was very, very touch and go. He was on life support and we were told that um, more than likely because of the, the brain injury that was there, Brian wasn't going to make it. Brian was left blind, paralyzed and in need of constant care, but he still fights back every day. I'm still alive. I've got my, my family who've gone to great efforts. I mean, my family would, I was never on my own in, in the hospital there or in the rehab unit that I was in. I always had a member of my family visiting me every single week, you know. And that's what kept me strong, knowing that I had my family there and friends that would pop in and out and see me. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our special recognition winner, Ryan Hogan. <laughs> Hello, Brian. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good to be here today. Well, it's a great honour to have you here tonight, Brian. We're very, very lucky that you're still with us here tonight and to tell the story and spread the word about one punch and the terrible e epidemic that it could actually become, especially people are going on nights out or, and they're not realising that literally with just one punch that they could change someone's life forever. Absolutely. And if someone does, get punched or, or for some reason falls and, hit, and hits their head. And even if they think that they're okay, get it checked out by, a, by a, a trained medic because you can't tell if you have a brain bleed or you've injured your brain just by um, without getting your brain or your head properly scanned. So it's important to get checked out properly. It's very important to get checked out, but it's also important as well to spread the word about the dangers. Now, I believe you're a very, very brave man, but I believe you don't hold a grudge against the man that did this to you. No, I don't. I mean, I think that person did enough to me, so I don't allow him to rent space in my psyche. My, my, my brain, brain space is for um, my wonderful family and my true friends who supported me. You are an amazing, inspirational young man. And to present your award, please welcome a multi-talented lady with an infectious personality that has made her one of TV's golden girls. Other celebrities sometimes skate on thin ice, she dances on it. It's Christine Bleakley. <laughs> It's a pleasure to meet you. How are you doing? What a remarkable story. And, and I do know that your wonderful, loving family here had lots of moments where they worried what the future was going to be. But your strength of character has clearly got to you to where you are today. And it's an absolute honor to present you with this award, Brian. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Christine. And congratulations to Brian Hogan.